Howdy, folks. <laughs> okay, I was talking about bipolar medication, um, and I wanted to stop and describe the mixed episode that I had. Okay, a mixed episode is when you are a manic where you can't sit still, you can't concentrate, you can't, your thoughts are racing, but you have negative, um, bad, bad negative energy. It's like anger and anxiety and, um, like, oh, you want to feel like you're going to jump out of your skin. Nothing you do. Oh, I, I, I can't even. It's All I can say is my insides felt like they were just going to explode out of my chest. I remember, and these, this is kind of embarrassing, but I have to describe my what I did for people to understand. Um, I literally laid on the floor and beat my head on the floor basement floor concrete I screamed <laughs> I cut myself I um, broke glass all over the basement um, gosh I don't know it was terrible I actually threw myself down the basement stairs on purpose Oh, my doctor said that he had never had that happen before. Um, no one has ever done that before, and he has been doing this for years and years. Um, not only did I do that, I was mad because it didn't hurt me, and I did it again. Oh, I was like, it felt like um, nothing I've ever felt before. And hope never again. I've ne uh, that's the only mixed episode I've ever had like that. And look, I'm gonna tell you what it's like living in pure hell. And you have the energy to actually you're suicidal a lot, and you actually have the energy to try to pull it off. I actually left my kids um, text messages about I'm telling them bye and how. I'm sorry I'm such a failure as a mother and uh, it was not good it was terrible it was horrible it was horrific um I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy honestly um worst one I've ever had worst worst at by far um I, I mean I went depressed for probably two years suicidal depressed and it was not nearly as bad as that meant as that mixed episode. Um, it was like I was living in hell <laughs> for however long it lasted, which was quite a long while. Um, I ended up taking pills, drinking a bunch of liquor. Um, like I said, I, I, I attempted to cut myself. But luckily, the knives weren't that sharp. <sighs> goodness I mean it's, it's it's really um I don't know how to explain it other than the fact that you just feel like you would rather do anything than to feel like you're feeling I mean like anything would be better <laughs> death would be better I mean li literally it's I I couldn't explain it any better than that um well I had forgotten they put me on um, Latuda. It's just like I was a, I, because I kept going off the lithium. I, I think that's why I, I, I can't remember if they switched it. It's about like, it's been four years probably since that happened. So I can't remember. I just know they added Latuda. And one of the nurse practitioners, when I was at cross point said that Latuda could have caused that. Now, why in the world <laughs> would, you know, it makes no sense. No wonder we go off our medications. <laughs> it's like, sometimes you think, man, I'd just be better off at dealing with it. But really, it's not. Um, because you, you just have to keep trying. And it can take years to get the right cocktail 
of medication, and usually it has to be a cocktail, two or three, maybe more. Um, the lithium, nah, I couldn't do. I had to go off of that. And I think they replaced that with Latuda. I believe that's what happened because every time I'd go off the lithium, I would have a manic episode <laughs> that was worse than the one before. And actually, manic episodes <laughs> can be quite fun. <laughs> you know, like I've said before, I've had them where I'm just euphoric, you know, on top of the world. And then it goes to the point where you're up for days and you don't get anything accomplished, you plan all this stuff, or you obsess on one thing for <laughs> for five days. No, no, I've actually sang, when I, when I started singing on Smule, and I would be manic, I would sing for two nights straight, just with barely a break. And people would be like, how in the world do you do that? And there was another guy I knew that was bipolar as well, and he would seem to be manic at the same time I would we would sing together and we kind of had a bond and we just, we just had fun. We didn't care if we were singing good. We just were having a blast. And I was embarrassed to tell people, hey, I'm bipolar. But, you know, some people knew. Uh, most people ended up knowing then the groups that I were in, that I was in because after the manic two or three, at least three days, and it would go four, sometimes five was the most, and I ended up in the hospital um, because I was too long. Uh, I went psychotic. Um, but if you, the first couple days, you just feel like, oh man, I could sing and sing and sing, and they, they would just be like, how do you do that? Well, then it would be followed by three days of sleeping or four, not waking up for anybody and people being mad because they think I'm selfish and I only think of myself and um, I've got to start thinking about other people and I'm using this as an excuse and blah, blah, blah. And misunderstood. <sighs> Trust me, I didn't want to ever <laughs> sleep. When I felt good, I would stay up as long as I could feel good because I had been depressed so much that it was like, don't, no, no, I don't want to sleep. I'll stay up as long as I can and feel good. Well, it always was followed by a crash that was worse than the, you know, so it's like, why in the world would you want that? <laughs> you know? Um, no, I, I, I don't. I try not to ever use my bipolar as an excuse. I've been accused of it from my own family members. Well, it seems like you can just do anything and blame it on your bipolar. Um, that hurts, you know? Because, no, I don't. If they had it, they would understand. When I go on a spending spree, and I'm going off the chart here, but I'm telling you, I'm ranting. I don't care. It's like I want to get this stuff out because it's 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 it, it really frustrates me because if you're bipolar and you're you're on a binge where you're going to spend money, you're going to probably buy 5 pairs of boots, maybe 10 pairs of boots. Maybe you'll get on one kick, purses. Mine was cowboy boots. I bought Oh my god. I bought two pairs that were over 500 bucks a piece. Bought my daughter a pair that was two, what did two, a pair for like 300. Two more pair that it ended up selling on eBay. I ended up having to open an eBay account to sell all this crap I bought when I was manic. My mom was about to kill me. Uh, she had no clue what I was doing because I was doing it online. She thought I was too out of it to, to be manic and spending all my money. It was back pay I had gotten from my... Oh goodness, from from my when I got my disability, I <laughs> was on a boot kick, and I, I bought my daughter probably ten pairs of jeans, cost over a hundred dollars a piece for Christmas. I, if you've ever okay, buy, like okay, so that's that's manic, hypomanic. Okay, let's see, you're hypomanic. You might go out and buy five pairs of shoes shoes or you know three or four a pair or maybe when you're 
manic and you have the funds, you'll buy 10 pairs, 12 pairs, or whatever, of the same thing. <laughs> Not the exact same thing, but it's like you obsess about one thing and you just go crazy on this one thing. Um, at least that's how I do. <clears throat> and I know a lot of other people, I know other people that have said the same thing. Like there was a time I went into, um, well, Cowboy Boots was the last thing. Jeans, I, I got into these jeans, Miss Me jeans that cost over a hundred bucks a piece for my daughter. Bought about 10 pairs at least for her for Christmas. I went, I got into purses. Oh, geez. It was like Christmas every other day here. <laughs> my mom was like, holy cow. And my son, he was so angry. Um, um, you know what? Do I want to be like that? No. I can say I'm better now, and I'll talk about that more later, but that's enough for now. I always, my videos run long, but I'm telling you, I have so much to say. I have so much that I've been through, and I still, I'm better, but I will always struggle. I will never be rid of it, and I will have it, it's like, diabetes or high blood pressure you're always gonna have it it's, it's, it can be debilitating I've been to where I couldn't even get dressed brush my teeth take a bath um just basic living <sighs> was too hard I, I just couldn't do it um because when you crash when you the higher you go the farther down you come and your depression is just debilitating the mania itself, you don't get anything accomplished. You should see this house. I have tore it up so many times. I mean well. I really do. I'm, I have 15, uh, 20 different thoughts going, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. The house ends up being a total wreck. It looks like somebody came and just dumped, <laughs> dump, dumped a bunch of trash in the, in the middle of it. In, in every room, trashed. The last time I did that, uh, my mom was just devastated when she came home. She was out of town, and I was me. I was trying to get stuff done, and my brain was going so fast. It was destructive. <laughs> I mean, when you when you let yourself, because I could have took a Seroquel and went to sleep, but I didn't. That's the thing they get aggravated at me about, but they don't understand how good it feels at first. You feel like, oh, I'm going to get all this done. I'm tired of sleeping. I've been sleeping for two days. I've been depressed. Man, I feel so good. Don't want to go to sleep. I don't want to take that stinking Seroquel. Um, bipolar people, comment below. Let me know how you feel. Let me know, am I crazy? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> but, um, no. It, it's not uncommon for people who have who have severe manic episodes to not want to come down or to not want to take the medicine to make them come down. It's not. And anyways, I that's enough for today. I will um, see you next week. And please, if you have anything you want me to talk about that you, you know, that you're curious about or that you have questions about, please comment below, like it if you subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get this going. Talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.